Hey everybody, I'm at the coast. I'm using my laptop to record this, which has a crappier microphone, so I might sound a bit echoey, but if you can understand me, that's great. This is kind of like an add-on tutorial for my Manga Studio lettering tutorial. Um, more like something I forgot from my lettering tutorial. I just want to show people how to add special little characters that don't have any, well, keyboard shortcuts. So I need my properties window open. And since this is still text, I can still select it with the text tool and it comes up with the text in here. If I click this little box called View Input Field, and it has comes up with this little window that pops up that shows all the characters in the font. Now, I think this font is called Mouth Breather, and unfortunately, it is not. Uh, no, no, I can't type it in. I have to actually search for it. Let's see, see the fans. NS. Mango. Uh, see if I can make this. There we go. Mouth breather BB. Now, what I want to do is I want to put in some breath marks. And it appears this font does not have breath marks. So let's just say I want to put in a percent symbol. I can put it in. Or if there's a pipe symbol here. Ah, that's strange. Even though this is a dialogue font, it does not have breath marks. I'll go to one that does have breath marks. Web letterer. Okay, these things are breath marks. I just click them and they go in the speech bubble. I can type in the word cough and it looks like it's coughing. <laughs> and I'll have to adjust, readjust the word balloon to do that, but that's pretty much what I wanted to show. And to close this window, we click this view input field box again and it goes away. I can change this to italic to indicate a sound effect. Uh, how big is this? Oh, this is also 7 point. Well, it might need to be smaller. But yeah. That's pretty much all I wanted to show. So I hope you got something interesting and useful out of that, and I'll see you later.